Hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Play the Minish Cap! We just entered the Minish Village here, and let's see what's going on. Yes, I just said that, Ezlo. Oh, they look like little elf gnome thingies, aren't they cute? And they have tails. What? Did, you, didn't un oh, you didn't understand them either, did you? Unless you're familiar with it. Ah, okay. So, you can cut open these little acorn thingies. I usually don't bother too much with that. You can't talk to anybody yet, because like you said, they don't understand what the crap you're saying. So we gotta find somebody who does. Well, here's a house not blocked off. Let's go in here. Oh, I spit the right button. Car yawning. Why do I have to back up to talk to him? What, do I have bad breath or something? And here we have more water, which we can't go into. Oh, great, now my eyes are watering. Oh, damn spring allergy stuff. Wow, somebody who speaks English! Or whatever the hell, uh, Highlander, whatever the hell this language is canon in these games. Sorry, huh? How did you figure that out? Oh, a jammer nut! Alright, I'll pick one of those up. This took me, like, forever to find in my first playthrough of the game, because it mentions being south of there. And it's not, like, directly south, but if you come over here, you get a heart piece. Can't do anything in the water there yet. Because I didn't see that. See, if you follow this path on screen, <coughs> there's a barrel, which is what this is, because it's huge, is slightly off screen. You can't really see it that well. Look out of the way, here's a chamber not here. And it freaking talks to us, okay? So we just ate the jabber nut. Apparently he was watching us. Yay! Cause I'm shrunk down to your size. Yeah, you know, aren't you aren't you aware that humans are like a hundred times the size of you? You know. So we don't really need to talk to anybody else in this town for now, so... Oh, hey, there's people hanging out here! Oh, they do! Awesome! Yeah, that's what your friend just said. Okay, so apparently we're gonna have to check it out in town later on. Yay! The Elder, huh? Which is actually the guy I talked to the first time doing things out of order here, because I can't remember if Dale, there's the guy who lives here, in the fancy smanting outfit. Because I ate a jabber that, you know, you have one of those things growing in the barrel over there. Probably for a just in case, because wouldn't you be born? And finally his name is, uh, actually, no, you heard his name earlier, he's addressing the other guy, Doi. I'm like, has he mentioned his name before? And yeah, yes. Sorry, I'm having a brain fart here. I just, I took a nap and I literally just woke up. <laughs> but I'm already late on my uploads for the day, so that's why I'm like doing this without waking up first. We the four elements, huh? Where have we heard that one before? But my map is half blank! Turn to me at once. Well, aren't you just a hoity toity? Oh, that's right, I can't, I can't do that movie. No, I didn't want to talk to you. I'm gonna go in here. Hey, Fistari, buddy. I talked to the elder and he said I should come back here to you. Quite dangerous, huh? This is 
that's where we got that heart piece earlier. You cannot pick it up as a minish, so. And this is the first dungeon, the Deep Wood Shrine. Oh, crap, we can't break parts of the sword yet. But anyway, um... Obviously, like I said, this is the first dungeon. It is pretty easy, but I'm probably not going to do it. I've only played this game twice, actually. So I'm probably not going to do it in, like, the most efficient order. So, you know, I don't know how long how many videos this is going to take. But if you notice I missed something, I'm going to go back for it. So don't panic saying, oh, you missed this. I'm going to get it eventually. It's just a matter of me finding my way around here. So if we step on these lovely switches, the torch is light up. And give us a chest. And what you what you want to bet? I don't like how when they do this in Zelda games that you find the key in the room with the locked door. And I hate how you have to press R to open freaking doors. And I hate these slug things that like come down from the ceiling on you. See, they even leave you know a trail in their wake. It's disgusting. Keep hitting R2 instead of R1 by accident. Oh, these mushroom thingies. Yeah, it kind of would help if I, uh, you know, you know, stayed holding onto it. Oh, I did not mean to. Yay, five rupees! I'm so lucky to get used to this. These things are friggin' annoying. Now why is there a barrel sitting in here? Oh well. And that's gonna release the vines growing from that. So now the, the peg of the barrel is now in the hole. This will be important later. Well actually in about two seconds it will be. Uh, no, I did not want to trap off the cliff. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. I'm gonna hit both switches to get this one to light. Yay! Alright. Now let's go back in the barrel. And now the barrel can move! Like I said, I don't know the most efficient path through this place, so I'm probably going to screw it up like I just did. I'm going to go back up through this hole. Apparently. Oh, I hate these little dingies either. I don't even know what the hell they're called either. And we can't go back out there that time. Okay, that's an exit, not an entrance. So let's put a mushroom. Notice that it was like two tail spots, because if you don't pull it all the way, you're not going to get over here. There's a heart piece there, but we're not going to be able to get it till later. And we get the map! Oh, I forgot that, uh, Select doesn't use the map in this game, it talks to Ezlo. So, yeah. It's a quick peek at this place. Okay, now we can... I do that all the time. See, there you go. You don't want to get in between those, so... Oh, look! There's a convenient pot in a convenient spot in the floor. Where we can drag along! Gee, I wonder! They make the puzzles in this one way too obvious. Yeah, we've already kind of been doing that for the past, like, three minutes. Okay, so you need to get inside here and have the switches down so you can have the, you know, maneuver around. Yay! Now we can open that locked door. Oh, you guys have the barrel there! Look, oh, excuse me for yawning again. 
I have like Yonder syndrome, apparently. I mean, I do yawn sometimes when I'm when I'm tired, but at most of the time I yawn, it's just like compulsive yawning back and forth where I'm the only person who's subject to it. Although my dad with my dad and I are in the car on the way to work. <laughs> like once a week we'll get into these yawning wars. But we cannot stop. Okay, now we get to go in this half. Yay! You know where what's up here first. And I so do not need to walk in there. No, I didn't want to fucking do that either. That's what we want to do here. I'm going to turn on that bridge real quick, and then I'm going to go up here. And I'm out of time, so I'm going to have to stop here, so stay tuned next time for Let's Play Minish Cap.